There is now conflicting testimony about the vehicle as Michael Astorga was driving the night Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy James McGrain was murdered. One friend of Astorga's testified yesterday that the accused killer was driving a purple Jeep on the night of the murder in 2006. But today, another put Astorga in the pickup truck that McGrain pulled over just before he was shot. News 13's Maria Medina is live at District Court. Maria? And Dick, before those witnesses could even take the stand today, the judge scolded Astorga's mother. She was overheard saying that she couldn't wait to get her paws on District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg. I will not tolerate anything like that as long as you understand. You're telling me you understand. I understand. For a few minutes, the spotlight was on Teresa Romero and not her son, Michael Astorga, who is on trial for the murder of Deputy James McGrain, Jr. He was shot to death four years ago during a traffic stop near Tejeres. Judge Neil Candelaria told everyone in the courtroom that he'd kick out, fine, and even charge anyone with contempt who made threats, including Romero. We drove back to the house. After the shaky start, prosecutors called a witness, a friend of Astorga's wife, who placed Michael Astorga behind the wheel of his truck just hours before McGrain pulled it over and was murdered. And what vehicle was Michael and this other individual in? In the gold truck. Her testimony contradicts that of one of Astorga's friends, David Garcia, who testified yesterday that he and Astorga drove around that night in a different vehicle. Another witness today is the owner of a convenience store where Astorga bought sunflower seeds that evening. A DNA analyst testified that sunflower seeds with Astorga's and Garcia's DNA on them were found in the pickup. The store owner also testified that he'd seen Astorga with a gun a couple of months before the deputy's murder. It's a very nice gun. I gave it back to him and that was the end of it. What kind of Glock was it? It was a Glock uh, 10 millimeter. That's the same caliber used to shoot Deputy McGrain. And that store owner also testified that Astorga went by the name Donnie Cedillo. Prosecutors say he went by that name because he knew he had a warrant out for his arrest on a different murder. Back to you. Okay, Maria, the McGrain murder weapon has never been found.